Surgery begins by marking the cornea for a capsular excess guide. 11.5 millimeters is marked on the conjunctiva, um, and uh, following uh, conjunctival pyridomy and episcleral uh, cautery, a 300 micron groove is created for 11 to 11.5 millimeters, about one millimeter posterior to the limbus, and dissected anteriorly with a crescent knife into clear cornea. Following multiple paracentesis under an air bubble, tripan blue is used to stain the uh, lens capsule. This will be helpful not only in the capsulorexis, but also in uh, seeing the loops uh, implant under the capsule. Uh, here a 2.2 millimeter keratome is used under the flap, and then a capsulorexis is fashioned with forceps. Care is taken to generate a capsulorexis uh, between 6 and 6.5 millimeters in diameter. If the capsulorexis is too small, it will be difficult to implant the telescopic device uh, in the capsule bag. And if the capsulorexis fails, uh, the telescope cannot be implanted. Uh, then, as in routine cataract surgery, lens hydrodissection and nuclear chop phaco emulsification is carried out. The uh, cortex is also fully removed with the IA system. Uh, and the posterior capsule can be polished at the discretion of the surgeon. It's my preference to also polish the anterior subcapsular LECs to reduce the tendency for postoperative capsule fibrosis and phimosis. Once the capsule has been polished both anteriorly and posteriorly. The incision is enlarged internally with the crescent blade to include um, 11 millimeters, and the telescope device is inspected. It is grasped um, not on the telescopic elements, but only on the plate. And then under copious viscoelastic, uh, it is angled at approximately 35 degrees and implanted uh, with the leading loop into the capsule bag in one movement. Uh, in this situation, a Sinsky hook is used in the fixation hole on the plate carrier, and uh, the loop is compressed. Uh, if this fails to capture the loop in the capsule bag, at some point it will be necessary to compress uh, the loop with a second instrument. Uh, it is very difficult to dial uh, these loops into the capsule bag given their rigidity and their size of 13.5 millimeters. So here two Sinsky hooks are used, one to compress the loop and the, and the fellow in the eyelet to get it under the capsule bag that has been stained by tripan blue. The optic is noted to center well and following this the incision is closed uh, in this situation with interrupted multiple teno nylon sutures and then sub incisional iridotomy is fashioned uh, with scissors. During removal of the OVD it is important to avoid damaging the optics um, of the telescope device and then the incision closure is completed with interrupted teno nylon sutures. The anterior chamber is pressurized and incision tension uh, completed. Here at Physiologic IOP the incision is tested for competence um, with an intraoperative side del test and noting no tendency for wound leakage the conjunctiva can then be closed either by coaptation or sutures. Here on the first post-operative day, the cornea is noted to be clear, the telescope device well-centered, and the eye quiet.